Only on 7 tonight, a political battle between fierce rivals heats up in an upscale suburb. Now, one elected government official refusing or accusing rather another of collecting full-time pay for part-time work at the office. Diamond Shakehead exposing the truth a week before a primary election. Tonight, our story is getting accountability for taxpayers. A local treasurer answering our questions about the time he spends working away from the office and why. On a quiet summer day in Bloomfield Township, employees inside the treasurer's office are hard at work, but the man in charge of it all is nowhere to be seen. There's an expectation that uh, you're here uh, during the workday. We put in uh, 50, 60 hours all the time. Township Supervisor Leo Savoy isn't shy about working long hours on a weekly basis. I get in 7 to 7.30 every day uh, and I have meetings all the way into the evening almost uh, every single night. But Savoy says fellow elected official treasurer Dan Devine doesn't play by those rules, doing most of his work from home or elsewhere. Last Tuesday, we found his office door locked, the lights off. I believe he makes about $139,000 a year, plus all the benefits. If he only wants to work five or ten hours a week and be in here five or ten hours a week, I can't tell you what he does the rest of the time. We went looking for Divine here at his Bloomfield Township home. At noon last Tuesday, we see his take-home vehicle paid for by taxpayers parked in the driveway. A Ford Expedition costs about $45,000, also part of a six-figure salary, benefits, and pension package. Despite our repeated knocks, he never answered. Several days later, Devine agreed to a sit-down interview. If a citizen comes in and wants to speak with you about an issue, yes. you're not here, how are they supposed to speak in person with you? A message is taken by the staff and I contact them immediately and I will meet with them at any time, anywhere that they would like to meet. I've never had a situation where I didn't return a phone call to an individual or wasn't able to sit down with that person immediately. He tells us he was on vacation last week to campaign for office. However, a pressing matter caused him to show up to work the very next day after our door knock. If I'm in town, I, I would attend any meetings that are scheduled. And, um, Regardless so, of vacation status? Correct. Devine says when he does take vacation within the state, he doesn't have to notify his staff, who can always reach him by phone. I have no obligation to inform them. We asked Devine how many hours he typically works in the office each week. It depends on the given week, what I have going, if I have to meet with people, if I have a big project to work on. It depends, but there's not uh, much that I need to do sitting at my desk that I can't do uh, from a computer remotely. Devine claims much of his work is done outside the office because citizens feel more comfortable meeting at their home or office in some cases. We hit the streets to ask taxpayers what they think. If they can get the, the job done and, um, you know, are still have the right motives, you know, to do what they need to do, especially for the people in a position like that, um, I'm all for it. I definitely support something like that. That's very sad. It's not right. He should be in the office and do all that for Bloomfield Township. During normal hours? Yes. Nine to five? Uh, absolutely. Is it fair to your staff if they do have to be in the office during normal business hours, but you don't? They have different job categories to do, which requires them to be at the counter taking money, balancing the bills. That is not what I do. Uh, my results is what the people are paying me for, not to be chained to my desk. Devine also says he sometimes prefers working from home or at the library, but still maintains he puts in 40 to 60 hour weeks, investing hundreds of millions of dollars for the township. He points out he's also pursuing a civil lawsuit against the township supervisor, whom he views as a political adversary, although they aren't running for the same job. Mr. Savoy and I are in a very heated campaign where I have a team of people that are challenging his team of people. So they're attacking me personally, and that's what the lawsuit was all about. For another take on all of this, we visited Oakland County Treasurer Andy Meisner, who also oversees hundreds of millions of dollars and has been on the job for years. I came in at a time of real financial crisis, and while the county offered uh, a free county car uh, with free gas and a free cell phone, 
I turn those down. According to Meisner, Devine isn't as easy to reach as he claims. In fact, out of more than 60 local treasurers. I think he's the only one that I actually haven't met with the whole time that I've been county treasurer. You mean to tell me you've been here for seven years, you've met every single treasurer in this county except him? Yes. Yep, that's true. That is totally incorrect. In fact, I met with Andy Meisner and actually helped him become a successful treasurer for the county. How I do my job is my discretion. And if the, the people that are electing me again in August don't like that, then they'll vote me out. But they've been satisfied for 17 years. We also asked members of Divine staff to speak with us, but so far they have chosen to stay out of this. Simon Shaquette, 7 Action News.